Welcome to this video where I'm going to be sharing with you about how to love yourself, how to build strength and confidence in yourself even when your friends, maybe even your family are saying perhaps negative things or they are not supporting you. Are you tired, Barney? <laughs> As I was saying on today's video, it is all about the importance of self-love and understanding your environment. Today, I am answering one of our amazing, amazing followers questions about how to love yourself even when your friends don't support you or your friends call you ugly. So first of all, I want to say get some new friends. <laughs> okay, let me dive into that. Now, some of you, if you do network my marketing, you might have heard of that expression saying, cut the negative people out of your life. I don't believe in that because it doesn't give them a, a chance to grow, a space to step into their power and their potential that everybody has inside of them. However, it is really important to monitor the time you are spending with negative people. So if at the moment, the majority of your time is spent with people that are negative and especially if they call you ugly really reduce the amount of time that you spend with them and find a new tribe now first of all we can do this online like this day and age is amazing for technology and for being able to follow different influences different people have communities have groups have conversation have connection online However, of course, that isn't the be all and end all. We're humans, we like that touch, that physical face-to-face -face connection. So find yourself a tribe, find a like-minded group, and there will be one, someone, somewhere in your area. And if there really isn't, start one, <laughs> start one. But find some people that you can hang around with, that support you, believe in you, share good ideas, support you with different methods, strategies, and ideas on how you can do what it is that you want to do. Now, second of all, of course, is really, really important to build that strength within yourself. So start to love yourself enough that actually it doesn't matter whether or not you have a tribe. Now, always have a tribe. Always, always, always. That is one of my rule number ones. It's part of why I'm so passionate about the warrior theme always always have a tribe because even if you're a superman we're human so we experience down days we experience tough times and the best way to deal with that is by having external support however build your strength know that you don't need to seek affirmations or support or belief from anybody else and actually even in the tough moments you know deep down inside of yourself that you are a warrior, you're strong, you're tough, you're amazing, you're kind, you're beautiful. In fact, you are exactly who you want to be. Why? Because we create ourselves. Who we are is a result of how we feel or what we think to go a step deeper. You might have heard on some of my other videos, what we think is what we feel, that determines how we act, and of course that determines our results. So I always say as well, it's never about the goal, it's who you want to become. In order to be successful in any area of your life, in order to have a beautiful relationship, in order to have a thriving business, in order to improve your health or take on any fitness challenges. I think I'm playing tug of war with the dog here. This is Barney. Everybody meet my mum's dog, Barney. Hey, Barney. And of course, Bob and Feet, who some of you know. Isn't it so beautiful here? We are in Newquay in Cornwall, such an amazing place. And anyway, back to the video. So as I was saying, it's so important to be able to build that belief within yourself. Create who you are and be strong enough to stand by, even when people say negative things, to know that you are more than enough. And I wanna share with you a really cool, but really quick story to just highlight that point, because it's Gandhi that shares this quote. And guys, put this quote in the comments box, write it down. Why? Because it instills the learning, you're more likely to remember it. And I think this is so important when it comes to self-belief and self-confidence. And that is nobody, nobody has to permission to hurt you except you. Nobody has permission to hurt you except you. 
Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, if somebody says something negative or nasty to you, only if you believe it internally will it affect you. If you don't believe it and you can just dismiss it and say, thank you, it's okay, it won't affect you, it won't hurt you. And this is the little story. Imagine that there were 20 people walking down the street and you're one of them. So as a group of 20, you're walking down the street. Da, 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 da. And then somebody from behind, behind the group shouts out, hey, idiot. And you turn around and say, what, what do you want? Why did you speak to me like that? You are the person out of the 20 that turned around. It could have been anyone. So actually other people don't label us. We label ourselves. And that's a much, much, much deeper thought process behind taking offense to what other people say. Because if you start to create a mindset, start to create an inner strength, unleash your warrior within, and you know that nobody else's words can hurt you. However, in those times where we do have a little bit of self-doubt or a little bit of fear, anxiety, a little bit of a bump in the road, as happens in life, that's when you need your tribe, your supportive group of individuals that will have your back, support you, not allow you to indulge in self-pity and suffering, but have your back and be there for you when you need it. So that is truly, truly important. And I hope that answers your question. Amazing, Stella. Otherwise, that is it from me today. I am going to go and enjoy this beautiful beach with these three crazy dogs that are down there waiting for me and my amazing husband. But of course, like always, if you've got any questions around inspiration, confidence, speaking, communication, leadership, then drop them into the comments below. I am here to help and I am happy to serve. And of course, if you are not already, then hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it for your not daily anymore. I'm so used to saying that, but we have now switched. We are three times a week. So hit that notifications bell for your daily updates of inspiration, education, and motivation. And I will see you on the next one.